channel. Today I filmed this green and gold smoky eye that you see here. I'm um, using a few different products, mostly um, shadows from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and ColourPop eyeshadows on the lid. Um, I did put on some falsies just because, but I haven't worn this look for the past three days. And for me to wear the same makeup look consecutively for a few days is really rare because I like to try to do different things when I actually do wear makeup. This is really smoky and kind of dark for a daytime look, which it is daytime. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon, but I have to go find bridesmaids dresses. And so if you're just starting out, you might not want to do something this heavy during the day, but hey, there are no rules of makeup, so you feel free to do whatever you want to do. This is just what I came up with. So um, this is not one of the holiday looks that I'm going to be doing because my next one that I'm going to film in a day or two is going to be in collaboration with my friend Cameron here on YouTube. So you guys stay tuned for that. But if you do want to see how I got this golden green smoky eye, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm starting with completely done face and I'm just going to do my eyes and lips on camera for you guys. And taking my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, I'm going to take these shades Nudie and Honey Butter and apply those into my crease with my transition shades with my Sigma E40. And for this look, I really did want to deepen it up and add a lot of depth and intensity. So um, I keep going back into the palette and getting a little bit more of the shadows to build up that intensity. And the next shades that I'm going to take are um, Strapless and Cashmere Bunny. And I'm just going to apply those also into my crease with my Sigma E40, building up that intensity. Like I said, this is a darker look, especially for the daytime, but you can always lighten it up or even darken it up even more if you wanted to do that. And I'll just be blending back and forth, back and forth with windshield wiper motions. The next shade that I'm going to take is from ColourPop and it's the shade Amira. It was limited edition from a quad, but I'm just going to apply a light layer of that onto my lid as a base. And as always using my finger, just because I found that that works the best with the shimmery eyeshadows from ColourPop. And then now I'm going to take the shade Hammered also from ColourPop. This is not limited edition. You can still purchase this from their regular line and it's a really dark green with gold flecks in it. So I'm really going to pack that shade onto my lid because this is the green shade for this look. As you can see, I was really sloppy with this application, but that's because I'm going to go back in and blend it out with more shadows from the Natural Matte Palette. So taking my Sigma E25 and the shade Risqué, I'm going to go back in and blend all of that out just to make sure that everything is seamless and we don't have too harsh of a line. And don't mind my busted lip. Um, I was trying to be sweet because my boyfriend was laying on my legs and I was going to kiss him on the back of the head and then he popped up because he thinks he's funny and he busted my lip. So just ignore that. But moving back onto the makeup. Going back into that palette, I'm going to take the shade Sexpresso, which is a dark brown, and just apply that with my Sigma 25 also in those areas that we applied the shade Risqué. It's just going to deepen it up even more. Now using my Sigma E40, I'm going to take the shades Strapless and Cashmere Bunny again and apply those into my crease, just blending them back and forth, just to make sure that everything is blended and also to add a little bit more of the reddish shade that I wanted. And then using a small flat brush, I'm going to take the shade Heaven and apply that onto my brow bone as a highlight. And then again, blending everything back out. You always want to make sure that you blend really well and take your time with it because it just makes the look look so much more seamless and put together. And then taking the shades Risqué and Strapless, I'm going to apply those onto my lower lash line just to tie everything together. This is also an important step if you do want a smoked out lower lash line. Now taking the shade Mirage, I'm just going to apply that onto the very center of my lid to add that little pop of gold. It is a true, true gold with just a little tiny bit of green undertone, so I really thought this shade would complement Hammered and Amira. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that with my finger onto the center part of my lid. To add a little bit of brightness and light into this look, I'm going to use an inner corner highlight. And this is the shade Valley Girl from the ColourPop Blitz collection, I believe. It's one of their Christmas sets, which is still in stock. And I'm just going to apply that into my inner corner highlights with my finger. This is very, very similar to MAC Vanilla Pigment. And um, it's $20 for a little jar, but they do have the sample sizes at some of the MAC stores up at the register. But I really, really love that shade. 
and my camera I guess cut off I didn't even know that I lost part of this footage with my eyeliner because I've been trying a new technique where I start at the wing and then draw a very thin line onto the lid just so because my lids are hooded you can actually see the color that I have on my lid with this pretty green and gold I wanted to show that off a little bit so I'm not sure how I feel about it because I'm not used to it but it's something that I've been trying out and now I'm going to um, blend in my falsies with my real lashes using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I just applied a pair of Ardell Demi Wispies off camera and I just want to make sure that my eyelashes are blended together. And now for the lips, as always, I'm going to wipe off the chapstick that I apply while I'm doing my makeup just to make sure my lips are moisturized because that's super, super important when you're wearing a liquid lipstick. Um, and then apply the shade Truffle from Dose of Colors. I've been wearing this look with different nude lips and today I wanted to use this because if you guys watched my lip swatch video of the Dare to Dazzle trio by Dessa Colors, you know how much I love their formulation. And Truffle is such a beautiful nude shade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!